Hi, welcome back. I'm Sifu Wayne, author of the Wing Chun Compendium series of books and head instructor of the Canadian Wing Chun Academy. I'd like to welcome you to the next in a series of video question and answer sessions. Let's head on out to the studio. Hi, welcome back. This week I'd like to take a few minutes and talk about Quan Zhao. This two-handed technique we're going to explore a little bit. What I'd like to do is, is kind of examine or talk a little bit about how this technique acts as a, essentially a conveyor belt for an incoming attack. So I've invited Dave on up here for a second so that we can uh, demonstrate a little bit. One of the things specifically, if we're doing some qi sao, and let's start for sake of this example, let's start with uh, po jong. Put aside that. Dave does a po jong, chops the center. My quan sao here, what I want to do is, first of all, roll this a little bit. So my Quan Sao is going to roll a little bit. Just like Bong Sao, we talked about this in the past, how it rolls and kind of acts as a corkscrew. So this one's going to roll a little bit. And what it'll do is move this hand off the line. And as it moves off the line, it'll get replaced or handed off. And that's why I kind of uh, liken this to a conveyor belt, is it's going to move this hand off the line then replace, sort of make a trade, one hand for the other, freeze this one up, and I can hit. So Po Jong, move this off the line, replace, hit. And that's Quan Sao. So I'd just like to say a little bit more about Quan Sao. There's a, there's a few different ones that you might see uh, sort of through your travels or in your training. And of course the one that we talked about typically is made up of Bong Sao plus Tan Sao. So it's like Quan Sao is what we call it. But also Quan Sao you'll see here at the end of the form. And you can see the rotation or the corkscrewing motion. That, uh, that we find in the Quan Sao. So the same type of thing exists in both. So those are both Quan Sao. Also Quan Sao, uh, this Bong Sao, but also Quan Sao, if you put this Wu Sao with it, this we consider Quan Sao as well. So this Bong Sao, just as a side note, this Bong Sao uh, can't stay because it's Bong Sao. But Quan Sao can stay. So this one you can leave here uh, for as long as you want. I would recommend not too long because someone's probably going to punch you if you stay there too long. But uh, according to uh, you know uh, absolute theory, you can leave that one there as long as you want because it's no longer bomb cell. So one of uh, one of the other things I want to talk about is we've talked about sort of what Quan Sao should look like. What I also want to talk about is what it shouldn't look like. So one of the common uses of Quan Sao is to just kind of put your Bong Sao there, put your Tan Sao and use it as a essentially a bludgeoning tool where you just smash into things. And that's uh, not, I mean it's okay, you know, smashes things out of the way, but typically in, in the style of Wing Chun we try to avoid smashing type techniques. So we much prefer something that rolls or something that gracefully re redirects as opposed to a technique that just smashes into the incoming bullet or incoming attack. So that's all I'm going to say about Quan Sao for this week. Once again, I thank you all for watching and as usual, I don't have any idea what I'm going to talk about next week, so if you'd be kind enough to send me an email or uh, visit me on my Facebook page and send me a quick note, that would be really fantastic. Until then, thanks very much. Bye for now.